Inspired by an Ozzy Osbourne song, the ultimate set was basically a box package of everything Maxis had to offer for the Sim series. Simcopter, SimCity 2000, and Streets of SimCity. I got this at Saver for like four dollars. <clears throat> did I pay too much? Well, as a lover of all things Sim, I think I did all right. It's all here. It's great. And um, I can have all the manuals and books. I'm hoping the license codes are in here. I just thought of that now, of course. Um, I'm hoping that they're in here somewhere. Uh, because I believe they do require a license code. I don't... Actually, maybe not. No, they don't. No. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Electronic Arts? Now, I should probably look into that. I don't know when EA bought out Maxis, but... Huh, that's interesting. So, what are we going to do with all this? Well, we're going to install it on this. This is the Dell Inspiron 7500 that has been in at least two or three of my videos. It was a very nice laptop in its day, around 1999. It's one of the thickest laptops that I've ever owned. It is about almost, I think it's like two inches closed when the thick when, when uh, uh, thick when closed, maybe a little more. <clears throat> it's also one of the heaviest. And I haven't turned this thing on. I don't remember the last time I turned this thing on. It had been sitting under my coffee table for years. So let's see if it still works. Oh, I hear noises. Hey, it still comes on. But that screen is so dark. It's barely visible. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm going to have to do something about that. Oh, CMOS clock went dead. It is extremely dark, though. Maybe I'll bring the brightness up. I'll put the camera down. I should just grab my tripod, which is right there, but, you know, I'm so lazy. Oh, good. The brightness was all the way down. All right, good. <clears throat> That's better. Coming over a cold. <coughs> All right. Hey, it works. Okay. Well, do I have any other software on this? Yeah, I started loading this thing up with all kinds of crap. Oh, this is the one that I hooked up that stupid Dazzle <coughs> video capture device to. Microsoft Bob. Neat. I forgot I put this on here. It's the gateway version, but... You know. Anywho! <clears throat> what about Bob? That's not what this is about. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm... A combination of allergies and cold. I don't know what the hell. Alright, Simcopter. I should uh, mention that I did have a copy of Sim Tower. It was a Christmas gift about 12 years ago, maybe longer, and I lost it. I never really used it, but I did lose it. The game, that is. Click and play! Oh, sweet. That's where that went. Hmm. But I lost it. That, too. Yes. That, by the way, is another Maxis product. I just remembered that. It's a Simcopter. Let's see what Simcopter does for us. <coughs> I am so sorry. I'm just, um, everyone at work has been sick lately, so I guess it's bound to come to me at some point. That's like porn music. Oh, yeah. um, let's turn it 
turn that up so you can hear it better. <clears throat> yeah, I think I saw this movie. Anyway, install it. Copy most? I want to copy all. Alright. See, in the old days, when hard disk space was something that people actually was con were concerned about, um, because now hard disk space is practically free, um, different games and other software required you to run it from the CD because, I mean, nobody wanted to put a 700 megabyte you know, program on their hard drives they didn't have to. So most games were written back then um, to be installed on a drive that would have been around a gigabyte or less. And um, as such, these programs were, the installers were geared towards installing only partially to the hard drive and they would run uh, mostly media files like video and audio files right off the CD. And um, I believe Simcopter was one of those games, <clears throat> which is why when you were when I was a kid, um, if you lost the CD to a game, it was pretty much all over. You had to buy a new ver a new copy of it. Of course, you could pirate the games back then. There were ways around the copy protection, and um, <clears throat> because running a game from a CD also served as a sort of a, a theft deterrent for honest people, but there were always ways around that. And I don't want to register, although I should do that just to see what happens. We strongly recommend DirectX 3. If you do not have it, okay, I don't think I have it. Okay, good. We're going to start. Also, back in those days, whenever you installed anything or changed any system settings that were considered major, like changing your desktop background or something, you usually had to restart the machine afterwards. I hope I still have the CD for that. I mean, the case. Damn it. Uh, I gotta fix that. We'll let it run overnight, and I believe this has a rechargeable CMOS battery. Some higher-end machines back then had a rechargeable CMOS battery. I think this is one of them. So I'm just going to let it run overnight. I mean, it is Memorial Day weekend. I mean, uh, <laughs> Labor Day weekend. So I'll just uh, let, it, let it run for a while. I love that sound. So the only Maxis games that I played when I was younger, um, SimCity 2000, I played that all the time. Um, I still play The Sims, the original version. I have a machine dedicated for that, actually, even though I could run it in a virtual machine on my laptop, but I don't do things that way. I like to make my life more complicated. Um, and I did play Sim Tower briefly. I had a, I think it was Sim Theme Park or Sim Roller Coaster. That was a pretty cool game. I don't know what happened to that, actually. <laughs> I think it got lost in a move. I bought that game a few years ago, and I was setting up, make, make, building theme parks, actually making money, and um, I lost the game. Well, so I should already have SimCity 2000, and I do. Sim Tower demo. SimCity, SimCopter, there it is. If it reads from the CD drive, and it does, um, that means it requires it. <clears throat> Ahem. Oh, I hear copter noises. Let's watch the video. Now, SimCopter was released in, um... I don't know what year. Let's see what the booklet says. We'll go over the system requirements as well. 
Well, considering the instructions specify Windows 95 and nothing newer, I'm going to say this was released in 96 or 97. Here are the system requirements. You can quickly peruse those. Pentium 75, 16 megs of RAM, 4x CD-ROM. Yeah, 4x CD-ROM. Remember those days? Microsoft mouse. SVGA, that's uh, 640 by 480. Wow. All right, then. Let's do new career game. <clears throat> By the way, we are running this on a Pentium 2 266. So, running Windows 98. Let's do that. The graphics are so graphical. This is really cool. This is like memor mesmerizing. Now the whole premise of SimCopter, from what I understand, is that you can build cities and fly over them. So that's quite interesting. Perhaps I ought to read the instructions. This is pretty cool. This is really cool. Look at the graphical... Um... Wait, unless this is a runway. I'm not trying to figure out why I have flashing cubes. Nobody likes their flashing cubes. I don't like flashing cubes, do you? Yeah, this must be a video issue. Is that a copter? Ooh, I see a helicopter. This is the best four bucks I ever spent. How do you fly it? No water cannon. Reticulating splines? Now let's get this bitch in the air, huh? Come on! Fly you. Enter? No. Start pressing keys until something happens. Or I could just read the instructions. Come on. Alright, I'm gonna have to read the instructions. Okay, according to SimCopter, to start the copter and increase altitude, you have to press the letter Q. So let's do so. Now, I don't know if that's supposed to happen. Oh, I need, I need access to the arrow keys. So this is like a two-handed player. Or flying, though. Whee! Now, to go down... W. Like that. You can't really crash it, can you? Not that I tried. And so you can play this with one hand. Oh dear. Look at those cars. They look like scions. Oh no, I hit a Scion! And a Ford Flex! Uh oh. Is that a... Oh, I just crashed a Nissan Cube. And hit, and hit a... Oh, I crashed my copter. Oh dear. Well... Well, good thing that Ford Flex came after me and rescued me, apparently. Alright, let's go find that copter. On fire. Why am I on roller skates? Southeast quadrant. Weird. This is a level one emergency. 
Look at this road, though. Oh, 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 oh God. Okay, look. The road is kind of not. What the hell? <laughs> if in real life a road that looks like that would, or a bridge, would cause a lot of accidents, and I'm sure you guys know that. Is that it? Where's my chopper? Do I get one copter and that's it? Is that Jaws? Didn't. All right, I'll shut up. What the hell? Where's my copter? I see a satellite dish. This music is dramatic. And I'm wearing headphones, but I don't have a helicopter. What the hell's wrong with me? Do I have to find another one? What, can I run? Police follow helicopter. Dispatch police car. F4. It's times like this where reading the instructions might actually be beneficial. I feel like I'm in a dramatic movie. Suck. What? I can't walk over the hill? Are you, are you kidding me? I mean, really? Where's my helicopter? Is there a jump command? Escape. Let's look at our options. Graphics. Building textures. Ground textures. Always high. Oh, you can turn different things off. Do these sounds... Check this out. Listen carefully. And tell me if you can tell me what other Maxis games used this sound effect. Okay. You can remap everything. Interesting. You can even change the channel. No, that's volume. Never mind. Hmm. Alright. I like to find a helicopter. Whoa! I'm the... Reminds me of Hank Hill when he does that. Oh wait, there's my helicopter. Well, how do I get it back? Is there like a state farm button? What the hell? I get it, I'm done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. No, I don't want to save the game. Alright then, that was some copter. My mom once said, never ride your motorcycle in the house. But she's not around, is she? Alright.